All right, this will be probably the most important video I've made to date. If you give a shit about my social media, you'll notice the last post I made was me being contacted by a man who had three posts on Instagram and hundreds of followers. I have people coming at me because yes, I can sing. I'm not bad looking, I have a six pack. I can play every fucking instrument I want. So yeah, people are coming at me. It, is it really that hard to fucking grasp? Well, guess what this motherfucker, he texts me at like five in the morning, I was already up. Hey man, you wanna talk business, blah, blah, blah? Sure, why not? I'll entertain everybody's offer. I've gotten offers from the federal government for a grant, which I turned down. He asked me to see a picture of my son. The proof is right there on my fucking page. Do you need more proof? I don't know how else to give it to you. I can't make an account with three posts and hundreds of followers. Said he lives in Arizona. Phoenix, Arizona. That's all I got. I asked to see a picture of my son. I told him to go fuck himself and I reported him to Instagram and I blocked him. My son told me a story when he was in Baltimore with his mother. He said he was walking home with a group of friends. He said a man in a white van pulled up and asked if any of them wanted to get in it. A literal fucking, for all I know, he was a child molester, rapist, and murderer, for all I fucking know. I've been to prison with a man who was a rapist. Then he didn't want to get caught for rape, so he killed the woman. Then he didn't want to get caught for that, so he set her body on fire. Guess what? All he got was 35 years for not only taking a life and the life of all the people that that woman held dear, all he got was 35 years. And I played ping pong with this cocksucker. This was before I knew who in the, what, what he was. He was also having sex with some fruity white boy in there. Fine, whatever, you want to get that, fine. When the COs come around and check, they do their count, they leave the tier. I was in minimum security, but I was also in maximum security. 23 hour lockdown. I got thrown in the hole too, because I wouldn't rat on my poor 19 year old cellmate whose dumbass popped the sprinkler head. I sat in a concrete box for a week for this man, because that's the type of person I am. I had people's back. Nobody has my fucking back though, and I don't give a shit. Everything I do is to protect my son. So if you attack me, you might as well be attacking my son. Did you hear what I fucking said? If you attack me, you might as well be attacking my son. I don't fucking care what anybody thinks about me. I see everybody on here posting all this intimate shit about their children with their shirts off and their pants off and ha ha ha, look at my kid running around. You know what, there's literal fucking perverts out there and they're jacking off to your kids. They're beating off to your fucking pictures. You're giving to them. Go ahead. Keep giving the perverts all the shit they need. They'll eventually find their way around into your circle. Become your friend. And try. Try to put their hands on your babies. I dare somebody to fucking try that. Well, I fucking know about it. I dare somebody. I'll put that ass in an anaconda choke and break that fucking neck. Carelessly, I won't give a shit and I'll be well within my legal right to do it. I know what an anaconda choke is and for those of you who practice Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, I know Brazilian Jiu Jitsu very intimately. This body is a fucking weapon. My words are a weapon. Everything I do is to protect my child. He's at school right now. He goes to a lovely school. It's locked down, you can't get in it without pushing a button and showing your face. I email his teacher, his art teacher emails me. We're in constant contact. Is they having a hard time adapting? Yes, no, X, Y, Z, and the third, I'm here if you need me. I don't have a PhD right now, but I have many friends that are doctors and PhDs. They're just people too. And they like smart people who use their fucking brains and their heart for good like I try to do. Try, but motherfuckers give me resistance everywhere I go. Everywhere I go, I get fucking resistance. 
At the end of the day, all I want to do is be a good father. The fuck is the point of this life? What is the point of your life? Tell me that. Don't tell me it. Ask your fucking self that. Ask your spouse that. Why are we even here? Why are we here? What's the point of all this? To bitch on Facebook? To throw a fucking tantrum on Facebook? No! Protect your kids, how about that? Get your head out of your fucking ass and look at how your behavior is affecting your children. Isaiah can't get on my social media for a reason, and yes, that is his first name. That's all the fucking info you're gonna get. Try to come at me, I swear to God, I will fucking end you. End your ass, quick. When I make a video, I try to be jovial and friendly and all this and that, and I'm sick of it. I'm fucking tired of your bullshit. Go ahead, don't share this if you don't want to. I don't give a fuck. I'll make this video go viral all on my own like I do all my other actions. When I go out in the world, I know that my actions will become viral in a certain type of way. I don't need social media to get my message out there. Social media can just help amplify it. That's what social media can do, help you amplify your message. But if you're around retards who don't give a shit, guess what? That message ain't gonna get anywhere. You wanna lay with swine and then complain to me? I don't wanna hear it. Oh, I can't find a good man anywhere. It's because, are you a good fucking woman? Are you a good man? Do you deserve a good woman? Do you deserve a good person in your life? Yes or no? It's not me to ask you, it's to you to ask your fucking self. I've had to sleep next to murderers and rapists before because I lost my privileges because I gave them away. I put myself in prison through my actions. I was dependent on alcohol and I was just going out working every day and doing my thing and guess what, the man caught me. It was my own fault. I didn't even get bailed out for 130 bucks. I was in there with a guy, his nickname was MDB, Million Dollar Bail because I had to get reclassified into a higher tier after I got out of the hole and I had to hang out with murderers and drug dealers. I know what makes people tick. I know what makes rapists and murderers tick, believe it or not. Share this video if you give a shit about your kids. Or don't. It's up to you, I don't fucking care anymore. Social media is a joke to me. Money is a joke to me. It comes and goes. Wealth is measured in power, knowledge. And I'm a very, very wealthy man. You fucking better believe it. Have a good day.